All right, so the project at hand for today is to uh, wire one of these uh, engines here with a kill switch. This is a MTD 5 horsepower engine, uh, one that has choke right here and then throttle here. And this position is the off position. Um, however, I want to be able to wire in a kill switch um, so that this position it doesn't have to be here for us to turn uh, this engine off so uh, let's get into the video if you're not already a subscriber please go and hit that subscribe button to get more great content like this all right first step is to remove uh, the bolts on this housing Um, there's four bolts on this particular engine. Uh, there's these two at the top here. Um, for this one, they're 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, so there's these two here. Set those aside. As well as this one right here, as, and one on the other side, uh, about the same location. So we'll do these. All right, so we're gonna pull this cover off now. Uh, there's a little pin here that's holding it on. You should be able to just pop it free like that. And then we'll set this aside. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna look on your um, coil and magneto for the spark. And there's a wire that's connected to it right back here with a little connector. Um, and that's the wire we're gonna Want. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to ground this wire or not ground it using our kill switch. This is the kill switch we're going to be wiring to it. It's a simple two-way toggle switch. So an on and an off. Um, I found this at uh, I believe Ace Hardware and uh, if I remember correctly it was only a couple dollars. Um, and there's two wires. One which will go to our grounding site and one which will go to the coil magneto wire. All right, so we're first going to start by taking our toggle switch and uh, wire stripping the ends here. Twisting up these end wires. Now, on this particular kill switch, this right wire is going to go to our magneto and this left wire is going to go to our kill switch um, my switch here is designated with an on up top here and an off down here um, so that's the way we're going to wire it it really doesn't matter because it's only a two-way toggle switch um, but using the uh, little coating down here is how we're going to uh, wire this so we'll take this and uh, put on our connectors. So we'll just feed these into our wire right here. Make sure that they're in there nice and snug. And we'll take our crimpers here and crimp them down. Make sure that they're nice and snug. Shouldn't be coming off here. And then for the other one, I have a screw right here that I can ground this to, um, which should work fine. So I have a um, O-clip to put on here. Probably I'm gonna bend this over just a little bit, make it a little thicker here. Um, and then we'll stick this one in. And we'll uh, crimp down on this one as well. So here we have switch it's got both crimps on it and then we should be ready to install it all right we're now going to take our wire here that's attached to the magneto and coil system um and we're going to put on the male um connector for the wire here um and that'll go into the female on our uh, 
uh, switch right here. So we'll go ahead and stick this in and making sure the wire doesn't go all the way through. Crimp that down nice and good. So now we can uh, simply just take our kill switch, the female, connect it into the male. And for my ground, essentially just you need to connect it to um, some metal here. So I've got a screw that goes into metal over here, um, which is where I'm going to connect mine. So just feed that right in. And then uh, we'll take some pliers and tighten this up right here. Doesn't need to be super tight, but you know, tight enough where it's not going to back out under vibration. All right, so that's nice and snug there. These connections shouldn't be going anywhere, so we'll just move these wires right down here. And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and um, put back on our front cover, and then we'll go test it. All right, now that we have everything um, put on it, let's fill it up with gas and test it out. Alright, choke on, throttle it full. One more time. Alright, the kill switch is working the way it should.